Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to auto reframe video to any size in Premiere Pro. This is a new auto reframe feature inside of the latest release of Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. It uses Adobe Sensei's artificial intelligence AI technology to auto detect where the action in the shot is happening. So that way, it can auto reframe that shot to the action in vertical as well as square videos and any custom sequence that you're working on. So if you're doing lots of social media videos, this is going to be a huge time saver. Now let's go ahead and jump into the Premiere Pro. Alright, as you can see in the timeline, I have created a horizontal sequence with a video, which is 1920 by 1080p. If we move over to the properties of the horizontal sequence, you can see this is 1920 by 1080p sequence. First of all, I am going to create a vertical sequence from my existing horizontal sequence and all the shots will be auto reframe. Let's go to the horizontal sequence, then right click on it. After that, click on auto reframe sequence. From here, you can choose the aspect ratio you want the sequence to be auto reframe. So if you want it to be square, vertical, 4 to 5, vertical 9 to 16, horizontal, or custom, which is really cool. So let's do vertical first. After that, you can rename your sequence. I am going to rename it vertical. Next, we have to click on create. And it starts to analyze it and it's super fast. So now you see as I scrub through, she stays in the frame the entire time. And I did not have to do anything. It looks great. You can see in the project panel auto reframe sequence folder has been created automatically. Under this folder, you can see our vertical auto reframe sequence. Let's select the footage from the timeline and move over to the effect controls panel. Here you can see, an effect has been applied automatically, which is the auto reframe effect. By the way, you can apply this effect manually. Let's remove the auto reframe effect and reset all the settings. Now you can see on the program monitor, the girl is outside from the vertical frame. Let's preview it again. And now, here you can see the same problem. The girl is outside from the vertical frame. So, we can fix this problem manually by applying the auto reframe effect. Let's move over to the effects panel to add the auto reframe effect. As you can see, this is our auto reframe effect. Let's drag and drop this effect into the video clip. Now, you can see on the program monitor, the girl stays in the frame. You can customize the auto reframe effect from the effect controls panel. From the motion track parameter, you can choose slower motion, default, or faster motion. I think the default option is better. Now, I am going to show you how to manually auto reframe video to a square version. Let's click on the new item icon and then click on the sequence. Firstly, let's rename the sequence. Next, go to the settings. Here I am going to make the frame size 1080 by 1080p. And then click on OK. As you can see, a square frame sequence has been created. Let's drag and drop this video clip into the timeline. Now, you can see at the end position the girl is outside from the square frame. Let's move over to the effects panel and drag and drop this effect to the video clip. Now, you can see on the program monitor, the girl stays in the frame. As you can see, I didn't have to do any reframing at all. And all that took was just a couple of clicks versus probably at least 15 minutes of editing per sequence. So it's a huge time saver. I highly recommend you check it out. In this way, you can auto reframe your video to any size in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.